Have we arrived in the clean future as renewable energy has crossed coal? Renewable energy has overtaken coal as the world's leading source of electricity for the first time. How smaller nations like Bhutan, Nepal and Maldives are leading the clean energy race. How South Asia is part of a revolution which can bring the clean future to us. And what India needs to learn from its neighbours and implement it to achieve the net zero by 2017. The IEA report clearly highlights that for the first time, renewables have beaten coal globally. And this story is being rewritten in South Asia, where the clean energy future is being driven by small nations such as Bhutan, Nepal, Maldives and Sri Lanka. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi's Flash News. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to understand the highlights of IEA report and understand that how these lessons can be learned from these small nations, how they are a lesson for India and what can be done, what are the drivers of these change apart from climate change itself. So let us begin with understanding the key highlights of the IEA 2025 data that has come to front. So the main focused highlight has been the fact that renewables have taken over the coal. How? The coal share has come down to 36% and 40% is now coming from renewable forms of energy when we are talking about electricity generation. Now in this context, this is a huge achievement when we are talking about tackling climate change globally. But we have to understand this transformation that has come it is not just because of climate change. The countries that are involved, they have had their reasons apart from climate change as well to fuel this transition. For, for example, if we are looking at India, we yes, we want to move towards renewable forms of energy, but it is not just about clean energy. It is also about cutting down our import costs, cutting down our dependency ensuring that we have proper secure energy access and we have energy security as well and when the renewable energy industry develops in our country it will facilitate local employment as well as development so these factors have been playing a important role across the countries which facilitate this change another key thing that has been highlighted the growth that we are talking in terms of renewable energy share that has declined in US and European Union and it has been South Asia which has been leading the change. The main changes come from four small countries, Sri Lanka, Maldives, Nepal as well as Bhutan. Now let us look at what has been changing in these countries and understand them as case studies and look into what India can learn from it. Now, when we are talking about Bhutan, as of now, the 100% electricity comes from hydropower it itself. It is a clean energy leader, but they face the shortfall, especially during dry winter months. And that is when they have to depend on India for imports. And that is why they have decided on a policy shift where they will not only focus on hydropower, where they are already getting 100% electricity from, they will be moving towards solar capacity and they will also bring in wind and biomass. And they have targeted that by 2026, they will be having an added capacity of 300 megawatt. The whole goal here is that they should have their own supply and reliability if there is any export involved. That is why they are taking it from India and then they are further diversifying, which clearly shows a simple lesson that even clean energy leaders need to diversify maintain the energy access as well as security. Another great example coming from South Asia itself is of Nepal. When we are talking about Nepal, this whole thing rapidly evolved, especially after 2015, when there was a fuel blockade by India. So basically the petrol imports from India had stopped and that led to a crisis situation and that called in for a reform. 
so they went in from a crisis situation to an opportunity and they made something out of that in this crisis situation in 2018 itself they targeted 90 percent new ev sales by 2030 so that their dependency on imports decline and for 2025 if you look 76 percent of new four wheelers are already electric furthermore charging infra as well as new service sector has been expanding because of that nepal is saying reduce fuel imports better domestic hydropower usage and also there has been reduction in Kathmandu's pollution then we have two other nations which are leading by the example that is sri lanka and maldives so when we are talking about sri lanka after the economic crisis that they saw in 2022-23 and there was a 12 hour blackout there were tariff hikes they decided on a policy shift where 50 percent power will be drawn from renewables and the dependency in terms of fossil fuels was reduced the goal was that it will be made 70 by 2030 furthermore there has been integration of ai based grid management so diversification moving towards clean energy and bringing in technology and addressing the social factor as well when women-led solar startups were also promoted if we talk about Maldives, thousand islands which rely on diesels which have been brought in poise project they are being given solar panels as well as battery for 160 islands and again their goal is to reach net zero by 2030 so the focus is on just transition as well as women-led energy systems so as to make sure that travel which is the main focal point of the industry in Maldives that is also part of this gradual clean energy future that we are looking at. Now these were the examples in front of us which have been highlighted in the report but the question is where is India lacking and what India can learn from this. So if we talk about India's scenario we have to understand the current status first. So if we look at the installed power capacity, in terms of installed power capacity, we have 250 gigawatts coming from thermal power itself and the rest you can see is coming from renewable sources of energy. But when we look at the mix of renewable sources of energy, you will find that when we are looking at the number of total 244 gigawatts as of now, as of August to 12, 2025, we find that the largest share is coming from solar power followed by wind power and then hydropower. In this context, we get to see that at present we have 43% of total capacity that is coming from renewables and we are going to double it. The target is to double it by 2030, which will also be playing a huge, huge role when we are talking about achieving the target of net zero by 2070. But this plan on paper seems great, but there are certain challenges which need to be addressed in order to ensure that this goal is actually achieved. There are certain challenges that need to be addressed in order to achieve this goal that we have highlighted. For example, if we look at the supply of coal, it still facilitates 70% electricity generation in our country. If we are talking about infrastructure, especially storage and grid infrastructure that remains weak. Apart from that, land conflicts are a big hurdle in enhancement of solar projects and a major financial loss which we see especially in discoms that is limiting the investments when we are talking about green sectors. Apart from that, a huge challenge remains the import dependency that we have on China especially for solar modules, rare earth elements which are important for EV sector and rare earth magnets. If you want to understand more about it, I have done another video today, you can go and watch that as well. And another internal challenge that remains is, especially for coal dependent states like Jharkhand, they also need the transition but they also need a proper just transition for example these coal dependent states they need to have proper rehabilitation in terms of new employment new industry and that map needs to be laid out 
द प्लानिंग नीड्स टू बी डन वेल बिफोर जस्ट बिफोर इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट नॉट अड्रेस द कोल्ड डिपेंडेंसी टू गेट डू अवे विद दैट बट ऑल्सो फोकस ऑन हाउ दिस विल बी डन हाउ दिस स्टेट्स विल बी जस्टली ट्रांसिटेड and the rehabilitation would also be provided to them now all of this leaves us in a clear situation where india as of now focus needs to focus on energy diversification especially beyond solar because in coming times we would need a good energy mix coming from renewables itself furthermore the push for battery manufacturing and green hydrogen is a great way forward because this will ensure our self sufficiency and this will our ensure our presence in global supply chain so domestic demand that will also be filled, filled up but at the same time we will be the exporters to, across the globe other than that we need to integrate into the clean energy grid that is existing around us so that can be done via sarc partners so that there is a regional integration with the like minded countries in terms of clean energy another important factor ensuring social equity in transition just like when we are talking about coal dependent states so we have to look into jobs gender rural energy access this does not need to compromise that means the transition cannot be concentrated in certain areas and it needs to be equitable across the nation itself and if this happens in the right direction india can actually be the leader of this revolution that south asia is leading in terms of renewable energy what are your thoughts on this you can let me know in the comment section that was all from my side thank you so much